Welcome to the GMC Tests of Competence. Doctors whose performance has been called into question may be asked to undertake a series of tests as part of a wider performance assessment. The purpose of the tests is to assess a doctor's knowledge, clinical skills and interpersonal skills in order to determine their level of competence. This film explains what happens on the day of the tests of competence. The tests are normally held at our Clinical Assessment Centre at 3 Hardman Street, Manchester. On arrival, you will be directed to the GMC's Clinical Assessment Centre reception, where you'll be met by GMC staff. The usual arrival time is 8am, and the tests can last up to 8 hours, including breaks and lunch. You may bring someone with you to provide support. However, this person will not be able to accompany you during the actual tests. They're free to wait for you in the waiting area. At the start of the day, you will be asked to switch off your mobile phone or pager and to store all of your belongings, including your mobile phone, in your room. You don't need to bring anything with you to take the tests, not even medical equipment. Anything you require will be provided. If you wish, you can, however, use your own stethoscope. The tests of competence are made up of separate elements. The exact format of the day will depend on your specialty and the nature of your work. The day starts with a briefing with the assessment team, where you will have the opportunity to ask questions about all parts of the day. You will then sit a written knowledge test and an Objective Structured Clinical Examination, OSCE, and for certain specialties, a simulated surgery or rapid reporting session. The written knowledge test is usually a two-hour paper. The questions are chosen to reflect as closely as possible the work you actually do in practice. They're also tailored to your grade and any areas of specialization. The type of question will depend on your specialty. You can find out what type of question you'll be answering before the day so you can familiarise yourself with this type of question. Uh, you have five minutes to go. Most tests are computer marked and you will have to complete a special mark sheet using the pencil provided. You will then be required to undertake the Objective Structured Clinical Examination, OSCE. In this, you're presented with scenarios that could arise in a normal workday. They're chosen to reflect your background and experience. There are usually 12 scenarios, however this varies according to your specialty. The scenarios are designed to test your practical skills, clinical method and interpersonal skills. Each scenario is set up in a different room or a different station and usually lasts around 7 minutes. The scenario can use medical models and equipment, actors as both patients and colleagues and actual patients. You will be asked to read instructions which are posted on the wall outside each station. These will tell you any information you need about the scenario and give you a specific task to complete. There's another copy of the instructions inside which you can refer to if you need to. You will be observed by three or more assessors while you take the OSCE. Don't worry if the assessors do not talk too much. They are there to observe, not to contribute. If the assessor needs to give you instructions during the station or if you need to tell them something specific, this will be in your instructions. The assessor might interrupt you if you're not performing the task requested of you. For example, if you're taking a history when the instructions ask you to carry out an examination. Uh, doctor, can I just ask you to reread the instructions, please? If you're a GP, you will also be asked to conduct a simulated surgery. This involves you conducting 10 separate consultations with 10 patients who are actors working to a brief. The consultations which take place in a typical GP surgery setting usually last around 10 minutes each. They're designed to test your interpersonal and clinical skills in scenarios that you're likely to come across in normal practice. During this exercise, the assessors will normally view the consultations by video link and will not be in the room with you. Alternatively, in some specialties, you may be asked to undertake a rapid reporting session, during which you will be shown a series of images or slides which you will be required to make a diagnosis and, in some cases, 
discuss management of these cases. The tests do not have a pass mark. Your mark on each question and station will be compared with the marks of volunteer doctors who have also answered them, and with a standard set mark which has been set by a group of experts. All the questions and stations you do have been written by doctors and tested on other doctors in your specialty. The tests are put together for the GMC by the Academic Centre for Medical Education, ACME, which is part of University College London. ACME also collates the marks from each test. The tests of competence is only one part of a performance assessment. The other part normally includes a visit to your workplace. The results of all parts of the assessment will be incorporated into a single report. This report will then be considered by the GMC decision makers alongside any other information relevant to your case. If you would like to find out more about performance assessments or about the tests of competence in particular, please visit our website or contact your performance assessment office. We hope you found this film helpful. If you have any questions, please ask one of the GMC team.